Practice creating a research paper, video three. All right, we've typed our third paragraph. Now let's say we want to go back in and add some information um, that we want it that we want to put in there. So what we're going to do is we're going to find where we want to add it. And let's say, let's say, let's go into right in front of further. And we are going to type our information here. Oopsie. And then I'm going to um, hit the space bar, and we're going to insert a citation, add new source. We'll say that this is a book this time. All right. Um, this source has two authors, so we're going to click the edit button to display the edit name dialog box. Okay. So we're typing Gupta. I'm going to hit the tab key, Elena as the first name, and Maya as the middle name. Click the add. You'll see it places it down here in this names box. So now I'm going to type our second author, Adelbert, Luis, and we're going to add Padro as well. Click OK, and you'll see it was placed into the author uh, title box correctly for us. All right, our title is going to be here in protection methods. Tab 2017 is the year. Hit your tab key, Orlando is the city. Hit your tab key, Palm Press, as the publisher. Go ahead and click on show all bibliography fields. Scroll down until you see medium right here and type print. And click OK. Hit a period key in the space bar and now you have your second uh, in-text citation. Now let's say um, we need to edit our citation. So we're going to click somewhere in the citation to be edited. So I move over into Gupta and Padro. I click in there. Um, and I want to edit the citation. Let's say I want to show the pages 75 to 78 is where I got that information. Let's say for some reason I also wanted to suppress my author. So I'm going to click on that and click OK. So now, instead of the author being shown, I have the title of the book and then the pages. So there's times where you may need to edit that in there. Um, wait a second, I've already got my authors in here, so I don't need that. So I'm going to go back in again and edit my citation. And not only am I going to suppress my author, I'm going to suppress my title. I select OK. Um, because I have my two authors here, I can just put the year and the page numbers in here. All right. We're going to type another little sentence here. All right, 
So now we have moved to page two automatically. With the page break in, in header, it's difficult to see the entire third paragraph at once on the screen. So what we can do is if you move your uh, mouse pointer kind of in between both of those sheets, you'll see a um, double arrow. If you double click that, it will actually hide that white space for you and you can see all of um, paragraph three. Okay. If you want it back, you just double click again. So let's condense that. Now let's say um, with Chamberlain, okay, it was our placeholder. Let's say we want to look at our sources. So let's go up here to manage sources under your references tab. And what you'll see is a current list of every reference in your paper right here. Now this on my left, these are my master lists list that I have made um, for basically everything I've ever written. And actually this is all one document that's for my dissertation. <laughs> so I have all those in there that I can pull from. It keeps a copy of everything in there for me. Our current list shows what's in this paper. So you see I have a check mark for things that are cited, which I have for two and Gupta. Um, I have a placeholder for Chamberlain. So this shows me I have actually not entered the information for Chamberlain. Okay, so this is a very good habit to get into when checking your paper to make sure you have actually cited everything that's in your reference list. You don't want to have a reference in the back of your paper and then never have put it actually into your paper and vice versa. You don't want to cite something in your paper and never have it at the end of your document. So this is a good habit to get into to make sure that everything is cited correctly and you've answered all the questions. Currently, we have not answered the questions for Chamberlain. So we're going to close this and we're going to go back into our Chamberlain placeholder just as we did our in-text citations. And instead of edit citation, we're going to select edit the source. It brings up the edit the source dialog box. Under type of source, we're going to say that this is a website. Go ahead and check show all bibliography fields. As the author, you're going to type Chamberlain. Megan Lynn, and as you're working in this dialog box, it will not do spell check for you, so you need to double check that everything is spelled correctly. Name of the web page, you're going to type understanding how volume levels affect hearing. Production company is going to be course technology. Year accessed is 2017. Tab key to the month as September. We're going to do this in the future here. <laughs> Day accessed is 16th. And in the medium, we are going to type, or yeah, in the medium, you're going to type web. And then you can also type the URL for APA. So let's just say this is where it was. We'll say it was here. Okay. So we're just going to put a practice URL in there and then click OK. All right. So now we have Chamberlain. There's no date in here. So I can go into edit citation if I want to. Um, and if I wanted to add pages, I can, if I wanted to suppress the author, I could do that. And if I do that, you'll see that now I have, um, the title of my webpage. Alrighty, let's go ahead and click enter and type our last paragraph.
Let's go ahead and save this if we haven't saved it in a while. Okay, and you have written your beautiful paper. According to APA documentation style, your references page is a list of sources that are referenced directly in a research paper. You place this list on a separate numbered page, or you place this list on a separate page with a title. It could be works cited, it could be bibliography. The first line of each entry begins at the left margin and then indent subsequent lines the same entry one half inch from the left margin. So we're going to insert a page break manually. The next step to insert a page, a manual page break following the body of a research paper. A manual page break or a hard page break is one that you force into the document at a specific location. Word never moves or adjusts manual page breaks. Word, however, does adjust any automatic page breaks that follow a manual page break. Word inserts manual page breaks immediately above or to the left of the location of the insertion point. The following step inserts a manual page break after the text of the research paper. Verify that your insertion point is positioned at the end of the text of the research paper. You can click the end button to make sure. Click insert on the ribbon to display the insert tab. Click the insert page break button to insert a manual page break immediately to the left of the insertion point. And position the insertion point immediately below the manual page. Now we've created our next page. Again, we've hidden that white space so you can double click and you see that we are on page three because you want your references to be on their own separate page.